The clinical anatomy and imaging curriculum at Warwick is delivered across multiple different formats of teaching. We have lecture theatre based teaching, which allows us to set the scene of what we're delivering to students. It allows us to provide context and actually inspire them and uh, give them interest. Students will experience small group teaching that's incredibly friendly. So they get to interact with their peers, they'll get to interact on close quarters with my colleagues and myself. Uh, they get to ask us questions in a very safe environment, so for students they can get things wrong and that's okay. This is the place for them to do that. It's also the place for them to refine their knowledge and test their knowledge against people like me, where we're seen as the experts. So what will students experience in the clinical anatomy and imaging sessions? Well, they will experience anatomy, they will experience imaging, and they will be required to use the knowledge they gather in a lecture or they gather in preparing for a Friday session in looking at actual human tissue, which really illustrates many of those important relationships and important concepts that we integrate throughout their curriculum. So a lot of our curriculum is built within a clinical context and requires them to access the same information in multiple ways, on multiple days, and in multiple activities. There's a lot of focus on teaching anatomy in loads of different ways, which helps you consolidate the knowledge that you're already learning. Looking at anatomy in multiple dimensions really helps you understand it better. The thing that's unique about the anatomy on this course is the plastinates for me. I had some exposure to anatomy in my undergrad degree, but it wasn't like this. You get exposure on a Friday with all the plastinates, and then on Mondays with models um, really helps enforce your learning. We just get to really engage with the learning material in a unique way. Um, that's one of the great things about coming to study here at Warwick, is that you get this really comprehensive uh, experience, being able to ask questions, you're being able to see things in, in 3D. And the the thing is with anatomy is it's so complex and it's so important to being a medical student and to being a doctor. It's a really formative experience for us to have here um, and I'll take it with me for my whole whole career. For me this is the best way to have it. Have you have a good process of in a lecture, read everything, get taught, draw it out and then come here to see what it actually is. That solidifies everything quite nicely. Learning anatomy with the plastinated specimens or dissection gives you a really good understanding of anatomy but obviously you're not going to be able to visualise all of the various different muscles and tendons and ligaments and nerves because the skin's covering you so you've got to be able to look for those really important surface markings to be able to start looking for those important structures underneath. When you come to applying your anatomy knowledge in clinical context you need a starting point to be able to work from. The surface anatomy gives us that starting point and we're taught it very early on. So in the surface anatomy, the students will be, they'll be palpating, which is feeling for structures. They'll be moving different parts of the body as well. And they'll be thinking about the anatomy they've looked at in the plastinated pro sections and applying it to the subjects. We really understand how different everybody is. You might find a pulse somewhere and it'll be a completely different region than someone else. It's very useful seeing the proportions of different muscles or different bones, actual human, living human body. I'd say it's very useful interacting with people that way. The Monday clinical anatomy and imaging sessions are really useful just to kind of cement what you've learned through lectures. It's a good place to come and see physical models of what you've learned and also be able to talk to the lecturers and the staff about any questions you may have or any problems you've had with the content. The Monday sessions really help you kind of build upon what we're kind of learning at the moment. We've got three different sessions. We've got the computer-based tasks when we look at images and then we've got the drawing tasks and then we've got a seminar. A lot of anatomy is kind of practice and kind of drawing it out really helps you visualise it a lot better. The drawing and hands-on tasks um, help me learn anatomy because it is a very visual uh, kind of element of medicine. Um, you need to be able to see things um, in person um, and sometimes lecture slides are just not enough. You're looking at things that you've learned through the week in a different way. For example here we were looking at um, the tract of the arteries of the leg and we're sort of reattaching them to the, to the bones and trying to figure out exactly where they lie. If you're struggling with it, there are lots of clinical education fellows around to help you with that and so you can tie everything off so you're sure of it before you move on to the next part. Often students don't have a very good overview or just unable to kind of identify certain things in medical images just because we don't see them as often being in a lecture scenario. So being able to see them 
regularly every week, trains you to be better doctors, helps you look at what is normal and what is not normal. I think it really helps you build your understanding of all the other areas of anatomy. We're always asking our students, why is this important? We are trying to prepare doctors who are ready to enter the clinical environment, able to use that anatomy, able to interpret basic medical imaging. We're always trying to point students to those tough aha moments where a student might struggle to get to an answer, where a student might have six pieces they have to put together. And when they finally collide and come together because of a little bit of a lecture, a little bit of a Friday session, a Monday medical imaging session, and a drawing activity, something clicks. And finally, they're able to see how these things intertwine, how it tells a bigger story. And so we hope to facilitate in the curriculum many little aha moments.